Hi, I'm Ed Cunningham. We're out here on the beautiful St. Lucie River to talk about construction of the Crosstown Parkway Extension Bridge that will be happening here in Port St. Lucie. And to talk to us about it today is George Denty. He's the Construction Project Administrator with Cardinal Engineers. So George, how do you envision this bridge getting built out here? Well, I expect because of some of the permit restrictions, it will either be an overhead type of gantry or a temporary bridge or trestle. My guess is this temporary bridge will be the one. It's a little quicker, a little more efficient, economic. And all it is is a temporary steel structure that's built adjacent to the new bridge. A large crane will just reach out and build 50 foot at a time and walk out on it and incrementally build that while another crew behind it uses that bridge to build the permanent one. That way we keep everybody off the ground and avoid any impacts to the environment or the land. And that minimizes the impacts on the environment here. Absolutely, what we're doing is building from up top. You don't have all that equipment down on the ground or in the water. We're basically reaching out just impacting the area the bridge will be, and then when we're done, we'll just remove that trestle as we walk away. It'll be like we're never there. Engineering's a fascinating science. Oh, it's a pretty cool job some days. So after it's built, how will the bridge affect traffic, flows in Port St. Lucie, and in particular, emergency response times? Well, remember, east-west routes are problematic in Port St. Lucie, and you see Prima Vista and Port St. Lucie Boulevard are well above capacity during peak. This bridge will relieve that. We expect somewhere around 50% reduction in peak period traffic on those bridges. Subsequently, not only will you reduce traffic then, you're talking about emergency responses being shortened significantly. You're talking about shaving minutes off a trip and that could be somebody's life. And lastly, we always talk about hurricane evacuation. To move people from east to west during an evacuation would be a nightmare were it not for this third route that we can use in Port St. Lucie. And will there be other positive aspects for the community as well, for people walking, bikes, and all that kind of thing? Well, here's how I expect it to become a destination. The bridges I've built in the area, we did quite a few in Martin County, they become linear parks. People go there to jog, to walk, to sightsee, kayakers, boaters. It just becomes a beautiful place. And what we do with a bridge like that is we give people access to that environment where they never had it before. So it's just a pleasure walking the bridge. It's, it's much like this uh, nature path. And you'll see recreational use uh, increase significantly, and it just becomes a beautiful thing. And once it's here, how will this bridge kind of blend into the community and the environment so that it really becomes part of Port St. Lucie? Well, there's a lot of aesthetic treatments that are built into the project. Aesthetic rails, lighting, there's some Guy Harvey art to be put on either end some really significant architectural features. And what I see when these things are done is they become the showpiece of the community, almost like the gateway. You know those cheesy uh, postcards you see about uh, guys in muscle shirts and bikinis? I like to think that the new postcard for Port St. Lucie will be the Crosstown Bridge. All the billboards, all the lawyer's advertisement, the phone book cover become our bridges. So if they do blend in, they become a signature of the community. It's great to have such an iconic image that represents the community, something like that, something that's beautiful. That's like the pyramids, maybe not as grand, but certainly something Port St. Lucie can be proud of. And it, it kind of symbolizes what I'd consider strength in that we're able to build a robust structure like this, accommodate growth, and uh, do it blending into this beautiful environment as well. Strength and progress. Can't beat it.